I wanted these memories to last forever. If it goes corrupt, you're just screwed. You just don't have it anymore. We assumed the cloud was completely safe. That's pretty much half of my wedding. 30% of people have lost personal data and don't know it yet. We asked participants to bring in old CDs, DVDs, hard drives, and memory cards to view photos and videos that they haven't seen in years. How would you react if you found out you'd lost all record of your precious memories? Open autoplay. I didn't do anything. It, it's not coming up. Writable CDs and DVDs have a layer of organic dye on them that the laser writes onto. It deteriorates over time. Eventually, all of those files will reach a point where you can't read them anymore. I think the disc you have might be corrupted. My oldest really loved the brand new baby. That's frustrating that I don't have that anymore. Unfortunately, flash memory is only reliable for five to eight years. Really? One thing that I only had on my phone was the last 30 days of my father's life. I'll never get that back. Asking my father, um, tell me your highs and lows of your life, to sharing a last ice cream cone with my dad on video. None of that has been saved. I've read the terms and conditions on a lot of these cloud services, and they won't take responsibility for anything if, uh, if data is lost or stolen. Once that I was telling it not to sync, it actually just went ahead and deleted them. When I called the cloud service, they actually admitted that it was their fault, that it was a bug in their software. It was about 10 years worth of photographs. I had to buy an external hard drive just because I have so many pictures. Hard drives are built to last between one and five years, and half of the hard drives ever made don't make it to their sixth birthday. One to five years? A hard drive that lasted one year would be stupid. I'm thinking, well, I'll just use a bunch of different services, the backup to the backup to the backup kind of a plan. Each of the technologies that we use to store our data are good for file transfer, they're good for short-term storage, but they're not meant for long-term archiving storage. More than half of what we spent our entire wedding for was for pictures so that we could have those memories. The company I'm doing this with is called MDisk. They're an archiving service with a better system and better technology. This is meant for archiving for a thousand years. A thousand years? The M stands for millennium. It's not a CD and it's not a DVD. It's carbon-based material. The data is literally engraved or etched into it. Well, there you go. It's etched into stone. This thing is so durable, you could dip it in liquid nitrogen and it would be just fine. That's awesome. With MDisk, archiving your memories is as easy as creating them. Just go to mdisk.com. With just one minute of setup, you can connect your cloud service to mdisk, and you're done. They do all the work for you. mdisk will securely archive your data and send disks straight to your door. Each month, you'll receive an updated disk with all your new memories, and you can cancel at any time. I need some, <laughs> like ASAP. <laughs> you're probably thinking, I have a ton of data and memories stored on devices like these that I might lose. And you're right, those devices will eventually fail. But you don't have to go through what these people did. Click the button to go to mdisk.com to preserve your memories for a thousand years. You forget so much of your life, you know, and so having those tangible pieces of memory and those things that really matter are just a treasure. If you're not archiving your data, you're gonna be in trouble one day. You just don't know which one it is. You don't wanna take, take a chance with your memories. 